I know some of you wanted to see the old boy. He wasn't in the last video. He's getting him some apple and some Hey, What's going on? I like you too, buddy. What's going on here? You're dropping it. You're dropping it. It's the squirrel, buddy. You gonna do it? You gonna squeal? Oh no, here, here, get your great, them are fresh ones, I just got them, they're big juicy ones, see them are delicious, see these are delicious squirrel man, look at him, he peels all the stuff off and then eats the meat out of the middle, you peeling it, you peeling it big man, well I'm heading to the river, it's rained all night and stuff, but there's some places I can sift up real high. We'll get to see if we can't get something. The rain might have washed something out too, so I'm gonna get, get on it. Man, look at him, he's just annihilating it. I hope everybody's doing all right. This is my old buddy, the Squirrel Master. You gonna do it one more time? What, what is this? Hey, he's all worked up, he, had to, he woke me up scratching on the door and I was whipped. He had, he's been in his cage twice. I let him out and he started scratching on the door again. He can't even get no rest, can we? He wants to play all day. There's some more apple. He likes the apple too. You hungry squirrel man? All right, I'll get back on the river if I find anything. Later. All right, you can see it's just pouring down the rain. But I sucked it up and I'm coming out. It's rained all night, so I the, and the water's not clear up yet, so I have a window here to look. I'm gonna try to find something. It's raining on me. I'm safe clear to the skin. You guys better appreciate this. I hope I can find something, but I got my sifter. And you can see there's shore here. But there ain't gonna be shore here for very long, as hard as it's rained. So I thought I better come out. Man, it's big rain drops too. I'm gonna sift around in here probably and go down farther and look all around. Later. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff laying out. Look at this big piece of Crooksville shirt right here. That's what it is. It's not worked, I don't think. Man, this rain's washing stuff off. Yeah, classic Crooksville. Look at the big orange spots on it. It's a shame that's not a big point. But I'm looking around. You can see it's it's looking pretty decent. I got some stuff washed out. I'm gonna look some higher spots too where there's a, a, a big angle and the, the rain really washes them. So, get up on here. I found a knife right up here not long ago. You see the rock coming out? There could just be something laying anywhere here. Later. I think I might have something here. What's this right here? Oh, it's just a flake, man. I thought I had a point. Man, look at that material. I thought that was a point. It sure looks like it. So I'll get back. I'm scraping in here. I'm sifting. Sifting down through here. This is a place I found some really nice points. I sifted all in here and out in the water. And then over here, I scraped the beach all the way to the base clay. We'll have to, the water is going to come up over this. So maybe something will wash out when the water goes down. But man, folks. I hope this points hole. I got one in my screen stuck right into the base clay and it's, it looks like white flint ridge. Oh man, folks. <sighs> Hopefully it's not broke. I haven't touched it, I haven't done anything. I flipped the piece of base clay over and it was stuck right on the bottom of it. Do you see it? Look right here. Oh, folks, this looks awesome. It looks like opal. Oh, folks, look at this. Oh, no way. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, folks, this is one of the nicest points in probably of the year. Oh, this is going to... Oh, folks, look at this. Look at this. Needle tip. I don't even know. 
that kind of looks like j it might be resharpened. It might have had tangs on it. This might be a Jack's Reef. The thinness. Oh, it's just, it's like white flint ridge. Oh, it's awesome, folks. Look at this thing glow. Oh my goodness, this is nice. Oh, <laughs> yes. Look at this. Look at that. That's just, you know, they don't come along often like this. See how much better this point is than the ones I've been finding. That red Jasper Amos point ain't bad, but this this is just a smoking stein. Look at that thing glow. Oh, it's totally translucent. Doesn't look like it has any damage. Oh man, look at the fire rock in the screen. This is just a smoker. Man, this is nice. Wow. Looks like opal. Man, folks. It's raining on me. I'm going to suck it up. I'm going to go down farther and look. I'm going to dig in here a little bit longer. I got this right behind this board. Actually, that board was flipped up there and I flipped it out. I found a point laying up on the other side of this wall. That's why I, right in here, like a month ago, I found a little point. Well, not quite a month ago. I'm going to have to look all of this because it's rained on it. My, my uh, tracks are erased. Man, that's just look at that. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to get some more pictures of that, like, laying right there. Anyway, I'll get back there. You can see all this fire rock laying here, but I can hardly scoop it up because right here is the base clay. But you can see the principle. It's laying right on that base clay. And there's some other stuff dumped in here, like that's a piece of asphalt. And some of these rocks aren't fire rock, but 90% of it is. And it's come right out of this cut bank. You can see it coming down. This rain didn't wash nothing out here. I picked up a couple flakes, but it, this was the last place I was coming to sift. I found some really nice points laying out here on this base clay. And I keep it sifted down. That's why the base clay is showing. So anything that comes out of the bank, I can walk along and pretty much just spot it. You see the color change there? That's base clay. There's just a little bit of stuff laying on it. But see how the water's coming down the bank it's rolling down that base clay and it's pushing all this stuff out when the water comes up it pulls the points down out of the cut bank up here and it lays they lay right here and then i have a pretty easy time finding them that's kind of the principle behind what i'm doing see there's hard stain laying out that's a piece of like quartz but you can see i sifted a little bit in here but there's really no material on it because i've kept it sifted down but we got a nice one see up in here all that rock laying on here that looks like it might be hematite nah it's just red sandstone but I'm gonna get out of here it's still just pouring on me um, the water's coming up it's gonna be unlookable tomorrow I would say I'll probably have to melt detect or something but I will get back on the next one we got a beauty I'll show it again up here in the last clip of the video on the hunting and then I will uh, show squirrel man at the end or the beginning whatever squirrel master you go up and play with him today I'm rained out it's just you can see it's just pouring it's just pouring rain I'm sick clear to the skin but I'm gonna get out of here before I get too much more muddy Later. well this is what I wanted to show you I walked up in here I saw that fire pit I should have brought a rake to rake through some of this stuff but man this points just phenomenal I don't know what to call it. I don't think it's not an Amos the way it's made. Um, I really don't know. Might be a Jack's Reef because of the thinness. And it might have might have a couple resharpenings and it might have had some, you know, you put a tang on that. The way it's notched, it could be a Jack's Reef. But man, it's Flint Ridge and it's just, it's just sick. Look at that. One of the nicer points of the year. Just for overall awesomeness material workmanship thinness it's a good one um the base is not ground at all so that not in it, any in the notches or any of it but man that almost looks like some kind of agate but i'd say it's flint ridge where i'm at i'm in a today 
That's a dandy. Well, anyway, I'll get back at you later. Right in here is where I found that smoker. Later. I couldn't even pull my kayak up over the hill here to my, my truck. It's just filled. Man, it was heavy. Water's heavy. Look at it. I mean, when I pulled that plug out, it just was shooting out of there. Kind of on an angle here. Man, it's raining today. Man, it's still coming out. I'll get back at you. Squirrel man will be at the end. Later. Here he is for one more time in this video. Get up here. Climbing on me. The rascal. Chester Copperpot. This old boy goes by middle, many names. What? You wrestling? Look at him. He wants to play all day. He's been scratching on the door again for me to come in and play with him. I'd let him out in the house, but I got a cat out here. The cat likes him, won't hurt him or nothing, but I can't just leave him run when I'm gone. He'll get into an electrical cord or something. Won't you? You'll chew an electrical cord and kill yourself. We don't want that. I have to squirrel proof this room. Look at him. You always get wet, and then you're crying like a big wimp. What? You gonna do it for everybody? You gonna be a squealer? <laughs> there he goes. It was delayed that time. He just wants me to pet him. He wants me to hold him. He wants to, he, he wants to ride, just stay up on my shoulder and would let me walk him around. When I have a toboggan on, he wants to get up on top of the toboggan in the highest spot. Don't you tell him. Tell him, squirrel, look, he's getting the gut on him again. You're getting the gut on you. You're getting the gut on you, squirrel man. You're getting chunky. Look at him. He don't bite or nothing. He play bites, but he can't even feel it. The only thing that's kind of dangerous is these claws. They will scratch you open. You've seen the cuts on my hands before. See, you've scratched me up, haven't you? He likes to get petted, and he's a good boy. I know all you people love him on here that are subscribed. And like seeing him and it makes your day. That's why I'm showing him. Huh. You need your own channel, huh, Squirrel Man? You're you're the celebrity here. Tell him. Tell him, Squirrel Man. Alright, folks, that'll be it. I'm gonna get down to my mom's and get my dog. I've been out on the river. Didn't didn't find a lot of flint, but found some and got a smoker arrowhead. That's what it's all about. I'm pretty pleased with that one. It's you know, that point's nicer than all the ones I found in the last three or four videos. Hands down it is. I'm going for quality. That's good. That's That meets my standards, this one today. It's a nice point. It's big, too. Well, anyway, folks, later.